French nationals residing in Ouagadougou are hopeful that Burkina Bays will bounce back after an attack on the nation's army headquarters and the French embassy on Friday, March 2. If we look at what actually happened on Friday, March 2 in Burkina Faso, I would say that half of the attack targeted the French embassy and yet none of the French died. And so we can say that the French community, for various reasons, attracts terrorists and does not pay the heaviest price. So we could ask ourselves a question about the fact that there's a country hosting a community and it is the country that pays the heavy price of terrorism. I think the festive climate in Ouaga will take a hit, but I think the Burkina Bays are strong enough to be able to bounce back and stay in a good mood. Because a lot of tragic events have been known for some years now, so it is not this attack that will lead to a general pessimism in Ouagadougou. These French nationals say terrorist attacks would not change their daily lives. Mali-based Al-Qaeda affiliate on Saturday claimed responsibility for the attacks that killed eight people in Ouagadougou. France has reaffirmed its commitment to its G5 Sahel partners in the fight against terrorist movements.